Hello YouTube. This is Habibi. God, I, every time I pass by, I really want to like put my hand out and just smack these things. And then I always think I'm gonna break my fingers, so that's probably not a good idea. So I wanted to make this video today on a subject that I think is really important and it, it's been something I've been struggling with my entire life and recently I've been able to get over it and uh, improve on and but I still work on it every day and it's just made such a big influence on my life and getting my first motorcycle is where it really started uh, on my R6 and Guys, it's just, basically when, uh, I've been, I don't know, when I was growing up, I was bullied as a kid, so as I was going through high school and middle school and all that, I had a bunch of self-confidence issues and I was a really shy guy, really self-conscious about how I looked and what I would say and I don't know, just I was way too worried about everything. And I just, I cared way too much about what fucking people thought of me. And, you know, up until recently, I realized that there's no reason for that. Uh, I need to be myself. I need to have my own personality. I need to do what I want. I need to do what makes me happy. And that's what makes you you. It's so important to be yourself, be original, and do what makes you happy. When you start thinking about what makes other people happy and what you should conform to to be accepted in society and all that shit, you ruin your life. I've done that before. I've been like that almost all my life. And up until I got my R6, my R6, getting my first bike, really, really set me apart. It made such a big change in my life. My confidence shot up like no other. My personality started to be, uh, become more prevalent. I started not caring as much what people thought of me and being myself. And that actually got people to like me more. Like, it's just such a, it's so crazy how much a little thing like getting a motorcycle can change your personality. It's insane. But a lot of times I see, I just, I see so many people, so many of my friends and just random people in my life that I, I encounter throughout my life, they have these confidence issues. And I mean, I do too sometimes still. I mean, I'm not perfect, but my confidence level has shot up. I'm not shy anymore. Um, I mean, it changed my life. I mean, like, without a personality, people aren't gonna find you interesting. Like, if you're not different, then what's the point of talking to you? I don't know, it's so important to just do your own thing and just be proud of it, you know? Regardless of what people think, or regardless of what some of your friends, so-called friends, think sometimes, you know? And, and sometimes, you know, if you have problems with your friends judging you and all that shit, you need to delete them from your life. And I, I've had to do that with a couple of my friends. Um, you know, a couple times you give people multiple chances that they don't deserve. And at some point you just gotta realize when to cut them. And I've had to do that. Not to too many people. Only a couple people in my life. Not, I'm not over dramatic or anything, but, you know, that's the deal. You just, you gotta be yourself. And especially if any of you guys are thinking about starting moto vlogging, started making your own videos, that's what it, when I first started moto vlogging, go ahead and watch my, my first couple of videos. I was so serious. I was trying to be um, a person I really wasn't. Like, I'm not, I'm not too serious once you get to know me. Uh, I mean, I am an engineer. Professionally, I'm a very serious person. But as far as my friends, 
and all the people that really get to know me they know I'm not too serious I like to joke around a lot mess around be funny like that's what I like and that's how I am and when I first started motor vlogging I thought I had to be serious uh, I had I thought I had to have such high standards to my videos you know I mean like I was trying way too hard and you know it's you don't need to do that. If you're gonna be a moto vlogger, you just need to learn how to put your personality out there and people will accept it. As long as you make good videos. But that's a different subject. I'm just talking about in life in general, you just need to put your person in the out personality out there. And if people don't like you, then fuck them. Fuck them. I, fuck them, seriously, fuck them. If they tell you how to act, fuck them. Tell them to go fuck themselves. So many people suffer from this every fucking day. Like, it's just ridiculous. For no reason. For no reason. This fucking society standards, it raises you fucked up like that. You know, it happens, but it's stupid. It shouldn't be like that. Like I said, my R6 really, it didn't really develop this I don't give a fuck attitude, but it made me like, it made me more like, I don't know, I don't... It made me just start caring less about what people thought, and I was becoming more myself. I don't know, it, it just made me, I, I don't know, get... I guess I just became, I don't give a fuck about anything really. But yeah, it, dude, recently, ever since I got my first bike, my R6, about six months ago, I've made huge changes in my life. And I've just become more personable, more talkative, not shy anymore, very proud of myself. It made such a huge difference. And, you know, if that's something you're struggling with, guys, and you don't, if, and you're looking to get your first bike, expect something like that, uh, your confidence level and stuff like that to go up. Um, I just want to make that quick video, guys. Hope you guys enjoy it. And um, have a great day. Have a great day, guys. I mean it. I'm enjoying this beautiful Sunday afternoon. Beautiful. Let's see where the temperature is. 86 degrees. Cool. All right, well, maybe that not be might not be cool for some of you guys, but for Georgia, it's in Georgia, it's pretty cool. I like it. Um about to go to the gym. But All right, guys. I'll talk to you guys later. And I know